before time. Let me put it this way. The industry faces the following challenge. Put yourself in the position of a, a new chief communications officer who brought along with her a senior staff member, chief of staff, who is a PR person but experienced in metrics measurement evaluation. They want to get together a, a good new measurement program because the, corp, the C CEO has really made an investment in corporate communications. And they want to show corporate communications. It's well managed, it's well run, and it really contributes to building organizational value. One of the first assignments to this chief of staff is to go look at what the company has been doing in terms of measurement and evaluation. This company has four business units, four internal PR teams, four PR agencies, external agencies, and probably four research firms all on the outside. After about 10 days of tremendous frustration, the chief of staff comes back and says, it's impossible because they're measuring purchase intent, they're measuring brand perceptions, they're measuring media counts, they're measuring impressions, and they're all doing it different ways. So it is absolutely impossible for me to put together a unified <laughs> report for you so you cannot look at comparable programs in four business units and say, you know, what can we learn from them? How can we improve? What can we do better? That's the situation. That is the rationale for why we need standards. And I'm going to talk about, in a sense, four things today. You know, what are standards, why we need them, what we're doing to solve this problem, and how you can help. As the person with this chief of staff kind of position at a, a probably a Fortune 10 company said to us at a meeting, we can't afford the dueling banjos of measurement anymore. I think this really gets down to it. The industry has spent a lot of time getting into measurement. <coughs> Everybody's freelancing all the time, and you know what happens when basketball teams have a great team of freelancers, but they don't play together. You know, what is a standard? A standard, and I want to call here almost on David Michelson, but a, a standard is a precise, specified, agreed upon, published, and widely adopted way of doing things. Good enough, it could be a, there are hundreds of standards in this room wireless communication devices, but also the thread count on the screws that hold the chandeliers up. There are standards all around us. You know, why are they important? Comparability is probably the biggest one in our field. So that if you have two business units, your consumer products company have two business units, they do both do uh, programs around Thanksgiving for some reason, you can look at the differences, similarities, what works, you can build organizational knowledge. The second is, a common language so that we can talk to each other in the industry so that we don't have to have talking about awareness and relationships and we're talking in different languages. I think a third one is credibility. Standards are going to improve the quality of the data we have, the consistency of the data we have, so that when we go to a meeting with marketing peers, advertising peers, we're going to have good quality data and we know it and they, they know it. It's going to make us much more effective because today, and I see this from the research end of the, and measurement end of the field, we waste an awful lot of time talking about differences in minor ways of doing things. Like, and we really should agree on standards and reallocate all that time to innovations and insights so that companies should compete, agencies should compete, and research firms should compete, not on from secret sauce, not in a black box model, but they should compete on the insights they bring. And in the, in the PR measurement field, that's a big problem. We have a lot of, you know, kind of fairly commodity measurement firms that aren't really competing at the highest level they could. And finally, management, innovation and management. Credible data, comparable data across your firm will <coughs> allow you to manage PR, firm, PR function better, You'll be able to learn what's worked in the past and what can work in the future, and you can add to organizational value. As a result of this, uh, largely due to the efforts, I think, of Frank and Amy Bender and the Institute uh, Board, we created what's called the Coalition for Public <coughs> Re Relations Research Standards. It's a mouthful. Bringing together the Institute, Global Alliance, PRSA, Council of PR Firms, and AMEC. The leaders of these organizations, I think, we're now up to about 15 people. We're going to be going a little more global in the future, so it's good to have somebody from the CIPR here. We can talk to you later. 
in order to get this up, running, and moving. What's the process? Let me get into what we're doing. More or less, it works in the following way. We find an area that needs standards, and we develop a working group, or we find a working group. This working group comes up with discussion documents, they review it internally, they share it with peers, and they come up with what we're now calling proposed interim standards. These are then published. The Institute has generously created a microsite on standards, which I think will be live very soon. That's the look and feel of the organizational communication site where we can publish these standards for people around the world to comment upon. Global industry feedback is absolutely essential. My biggest fear is we're going to put these up, we're going to encourage people to discuss them, and then what's going to happen, you know, three months after they're published, everybody's going to come back and bitch about it. But we're ready for that. Is that sort of like Wikipedia? Where we <laughs> yeah, it, it is, but it's, it's in the profession, and we expect you to comment on it. We want you to comment on it. Uh, then there'll be revisions. Where the Institute has been a big help, and Frank is the one I, I feel deserves the credit for this, is standards are driven by the marketplace. That's what the ISO says. Standards are driven by the marketplace. If it doesn't work in the market, it's not going to be a standard. Frank said, well, let's get together from the Institute and friends, the CCO, senior executives, senior research people, who are going to look at something that we come up with and say, wow, that really is a standard. Some of the people on this customer panel were real researchers. We have Jackie Matthews from GM who spent her life in research. So she's going to look at the nuts and the bolts. Gary Sheffer volunteered to be on this group too. I don't, we don't expect Gary to look at the details. In fact, I don't care if he passes it off to his staff members to say this is okay. But the point is it has to, our premise in this is CCOs are not getting all the value they deserve because we don't have people, you know, playing from the, you know, reading from the same page. And that's really it. We have Gary, we have Linda Rutherford from Southwest Airlines, we have Molly McKenna from McDonald's, we have Jackie Matthews from GM. We're going to broad, broaden the customer panel globally. Uh, that's the top for tomorrow. So we have this customer panel. Then your neck gets to a point that, that I, I also want to give credit to David Michelson and Don Stacks, our, our great methodologists, for is these measures need to be validated. It's a technical <laughs> term, it's among the research geeks, but it really means if you give the same instructions to the same group of people to do the same thing the same way, they'll come back with the same answers. Political polling, you know, we've seen a lot of political polling. If you read the stuff about differences in polling methods, that's why they get different answers. But we want things that have been tested and validated uh, and once they pass through that filter, they can be published as final standards. These will be driven by the market. We're not going to impose anything on people, uh, among other things that would get us into antitrust violations, but we're trying to raise the level of practice in the research.